Today I want to show you how to connect a real application to a client in Red Hat Single Sign-On. In previous videos we've shown how to install OpenShift Local and how to set up the Red Hat Single Sign-On operator to create a Keycloak client. And now we're going to connect an actual application. Let me show you what we're going to do. I'll pull up my OpenShift environment. I type CRC start and here's my OpenShift local console URL. So I put that in the browser and I'll look up the route for single sign on in networking routes. And here it is, this key cloak route. I click on administration console and I log in as admin. And here we go. The realm that we're going to use is called smart city uppercase. The client that we're going to use is smart city lowercase. And this is it. We're going to need the credentials for this. So I'm going to copy these to the clipboard and then pull up an actual application that I am developing locally here in my code ready studio. So let me show you here. I have some site configuration for this site It's the smart up IR smart village project. And we have some auth credentials. And what we need is the auth host name, which is keycloak-sso.apps-crc.testing. That is the host name for this keycloak server here. And the cool thing with OpenShift Local is that uh, my I can run other applications and they can connect directly to the routes that I've defined in OpenShift Local. It's really powerful as a development tool because you can deploy your applications as containers, but with the way the enterprise companies do it, um, right on your own development machine. So we're using the same auth host name here, port 443 with SSL enabled, and the realm is smart city uppercase, and the client, I call it auth resource here, but I should rename that, is smart city and the secret we'll make sure that we have the latest secret so i just pasted that client secret here and now you should be able to run this application so i'll run this application and and then let's go to Here, actually, let me grab the URL for that because it's going to be in the logs here. Here it is. It says the HTTP server is running. So I copy this URL and go back to the browser. And this is our site it's running locally. Now this is not an authenticated page. So let me go to login and sure enough, it successfully redirected to our keycloak sso.apps-crc.testing. Now we need to create a user to log in. <laughs> now I'll delete this user and show you how to do it. So I'll add a user, I'll give it the username test email test at example.com 
first name Christopher, last name Tate. We want the user enabled. We I'll put this email verified to true. So it doesn't make us verify our email address before logging in and then save. Now we can go to credentials and set the password. I don't want it to be a temporary password. I want it to be the actual password. So I'll turn off temporary and set the password. Now should be good to go. Now here's a page that shows the sessions. Right now there's no sessions for this user. So let's go back to sign into Smart City and I'll put in test as the username and the password. Now, if I entered the password correctly, then it will redirect me back to the application to the callback URL. Now the callback URL is set up in the client in Smart City. So you have to have a valid redirect URI to go back to. And so it's going to send us back to this callback URL because that's how we configured our application. We told it to go back to this callback URL. So let's try it out. Sign in. And we made it. We made it back to our application. This is the user page. You can see my name and my username and my the email I put in. So this is exciting. Next, let me try going to a different page that requires role-based access control. So I click on person steps. Oh, we get an error message. It says roles required site admin. So I don't have auth authorization to use this page, but we'll talk about this in other videos. For now, we got our application using our single sign-on server for authentication. That's very exciting. So stay tuned for future videos that explain role-based access control and logout features with your single sign-on server. Thanks for watching.